afterwards. Okay, here we go. Top right, we have Theory. Bottom left, we have Gloophead. What? <laughs> Okay, Hexen coming down across the map. And, yeah, I mean, he's just going to come in and poke around a bit with the Hexen. You're never actually going to kill anything with this. The, the sound effects are a little bit all over the place, guys. I see some people talking in chat about that, but yeah, that's just... Some of the stuff is really light, some of it's really loud. Uh, still something they're working on. Conclave on the way here for Theory. Looks like he's getting ready to expand as well. Put a little bit of damage onto this prism. Slightly annoying to have to deal with, but he won't be losing it. What am I looking at here? Is this the counter to Celestials as you attack with your Hexen? <laughs> Looks like we do have an Argent on the way, but Theory already sending in uh, a couple Gaunts here to help out. Dude, is he going to get the Prism? He gets the Prism. Are you kidding me? I never thought that was a possibility here. Well, now he's going after the Morph Core. Some serious business right now. Dude, is he going to get the Morph Core as well? Uh, okay, so I guess he's stabilized. Kind of a funny looking little uh, rush that we had there. <laughs> and uh, well, okay, the Argent chasing us all the way back. Hexen coming up. Ooh, he does get the kill there. Looks like another expansion can be taken by that Morph Core. A little bit of damage put down the Argent does force him back. Floophead looking to expand. And we do have a Vector out of the map. I'm a bit of a fan of the Vector. I think it's one of the better designed units in Stormgate. Really like its teleportability and the little recall that it has. Very interesting stuff. Picks off that skull as it's coming out. Does have a couple Argents down here as well. I don't think he can actually really go in with it yet, but once you get a few, you can try some tricks like boosting past with your uh, little teleport and then beaming out and everything. All right, so double vector. Looks like he's going to try to poke in. A lot of units waiting for him, though. Ooh, already takes a pretty significant amount of damage. Skull connects as well. <laughs> Prism coming up to high five. Now, okay, looks like he's, I guess, thinking about expanding once again. Kind of interesting. Link nodes going up. A little power bank as well. Kind of a very forward base here.
Ascension Matrix. Upgrades war machines and biosense produced at the war hall. All right. It's going to be getting some upgrades. The recall potential, I guess. Yeah, uh, the uh, making the jumps a little bit better is fantastic. And look at this. Looks like he wants to try to jump into the main base. <laughs> yeah, already theory clearing that out. So I think he has a decent idea of what's going on. Upgrading that arc station as well. Looks like we're getting some additional power banks and link nodes over here. Maybe going to do a little bit of a push with some of his buildings here as well. And don't forget those vectors can jump. So it seems like he's setting up for something kind of like cheesy aggressive. Kind of funny to see that mining over there. Yeah, I'm going to pick that prism off very, very quickly. Trying to pick off that hex and just barely did not. So waiting for that upgrade. Another base coming down for theory. That'll be his third. Okay, are we going to see him dive? <laughs> Arc station prepared right now. Multiple link nodes coming up. Theory right now with the Hellborn. Putting some serious damage down. Going to knock down these link nodes very, very quickly. Maybe not expected by Flupehead. A couple Argent's going to put some pressure on at this uh, third base location. So he's trying to do something here. <laughs> Finally does go ahead and boost away or teleport away. Delta jump. Theory just kind of staying very defensive here. And it looks like Theory now attacking into the space. There's very little here to actually stop. And he's going to stop this arc ship that's constructing. That's really annoying. Yeah, immediately picks that off. He can easily kill off this uh, expansion as well. That's what it looks like to me. Wants to save these, though. Does not want to end up losing uh, his Hellborns. Yeah, gets a pick on a vector. Theory doing a very good job of just kind of deflecting things. A couple sabers coming out. Haven't seen the sabers too, too much lately. They are kind of the, the siege unit here for the Celestials. They have some abilities that make them heal up or move faster. Now, let's see. All right. Kind of a cool-looking attack, to be honest. I like the death animation there. It's like they're shooting a little black hole or something. Well, those get killed off pretty quickly. Bluepad in a bit of trouble here. He's about half the supply right now of Theory. But look at that. Triple Sabers coming out. Maybe he can get something done with that. Looking pretty bad right now, though. Hey, the Saber's coming in, dealing some really ridiculous damage there, though. And it looks like the Arc Station will get away with the help of the Sabers. All right. Actually pushing into this area and holding it right now. Hey, 
looks like Theory gonna come in and just kind of bash through everything here. The Sabres are actually doing like a really good job though. They are really chunking everything down. Theory clears that out with some Hellborns. These bases over here, look how many imps he has working. 15 on that Therium right now. Some vectors are coming in. Great lash there on the Saber. Did get dealt with the arc station going to be picked as well things starting to look not uh well it, it felt like for a minute in that right hand side he was getting something done with his sabers and everything but right now it's looking really really bad for our celestial player Spriggan's coming over now, trying to help deal with everything. And I think it's actually not very long until we're going to see a GG here. Really feels like Theory's taking complete control of this game. He's got like three times the supply of his opponent. Clearing out all the harassment that's going on. Starting to kill a bunch of uh, bases and everything. Some fancy micro moves coming down. The Saber's still impressive in their damage, no doubt. But he just doesn't have enough of anything at this point, I think, to make a difference. Trying to dive in on this uh on this weaver doesn't quite get it though. So, yeah, there's there's not a lot going on now. Flupehead's going to have to GG. There it is. Uh, Theory going to take him down. Clearly just...